Okay, so in today's lesson, we're uh, we're dividing again, and you'll notice that we have two uh, two digits in our quotient, plus a remainder. Now, what I'm going to show you is how to use estimation to help solve this problem. One of the big problems kids have is when they multiply on the side here, 21 times something, trying to get into this 48. Um, they don't know what numbers to use. Should they put a two? Should they use a three? Should they use a four? They wind up multiplying several times. Using the estimation, what I'm going to show you is a, is a nice way of deciding which numbers I should plug in and multiply using that 21 so that I can get super close to that 48 without having to multiply four, five, six, seven times. And I'm going to demonstrate using this problem right here. So I'm going to set up an estimate area. I'm going to set up my S for my solving area. And I'm going to set up my C for my checking area. First things first, I'll write the problem in the solving area. 21 into 700. Okay. And I'll start dividing. So 21 goes into 7 zero times. And if you want to put a little zero in there, that's fine. Here's your 7. Bring down your 0. And 21 goes into 70 some amount of times. I'm not too sure. So here comes my estimate. Over here, I'll put my estimate. I'll take my 21, and I'll round that to 20. We've done this several times. And my since, uh, since I'm dividing it to 70, um, I can go up or down here. I can either say 70 is about 60, so that I can divide that evenly by 20, or I can say 70 is 80, so I can evenly divide it by 20. I'm going to use uh, 60 for this one simply because I rounded down when I went from 21 to 20, so I'm going to round down since it's right smack in the middle, uh, from 70 to 60. So let me get this out of the way here. Okay? And that gives me 3. That number is important because that gives me a target number for my 21. In other words, what number should I multiply by 21 to hopefully get good and close to 70? I'm going to use this number right here. That's where my estimate comes in. So it's a 3, that's a 6, and that's it. It goes 3 times for 63. Subtract, I get 7. That worked well, and I only multiplied once, which is great. Bring down a 0. Here's my 70 again. That's going to go 3 times again. 63. <laughs> 7 left. And there's my remainder. And for my check, now I have to run a full al algorithm here. I'll take my, my quotient, multiply it by my divisor. There's a 3. There's a 3. I'm done there, I'm done here. There's a 6, there's a 6. So that's 3, 9, 6. And I'll pull that over here. My, I'm sorry, 6, 9, 3. So 6, 9, 3, I'll add my remainder to that. So that's a 0, that's a 0, and that's a 7. Check, mate, my 700s match, OK? So that's how it works. Let me see if I can run another one for you there. That one was a, wasn't too complicated. Let's run the next one super quick, OK? So here's my E, my estimate area, my S, my solving area, my C for my check area. I'll write the problem. 31 into 399, OK? I'll start dividing. 31 goes into 30. 31 goes into 39. Well, that's going to go once. I don't even need an estimate area. There's an 8. Bring down my 9. And OK, so if I can't count by 31s, I'm in little, a little bit of trouble here. So I'm going to set up a little estimate area. I'm going to take 31. I'm going to round that to 30 as my divisor. 89, I'm going to round to 90. And one, why 90? Because these guys divide wonderfully well. Because. 90 divided by 3 gives me 3. And why is that number important once again? Because it allows me to have a target, a good target number, what I'm going to use with my 31 when I multiply. I'm going to use 3. So 31 times 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. 3 times 3, 9. Oh, I'm super close. 93, a little too high. So I'm going to multiply by 2 instead. So that's a 2. That's a 6. The beauty of this system 
uh, I guarantee the kids you'll never multiply more than two times. A lot of times you'll multiply once, but never more than twice. There we are. There we go. Remainder 27. That's acceptable. I'm okay with 27 as a, as a remainder because I'm making groups of 31. And if I have 27 left, I can't make another group, so I'm good to go. But just to be certain, I need to run my check. So I'll take my quotient, and this time I'll multiply it by my divisor again. doesn't matter which order. If you want to put the 12 on top or the 31 on top, the commutative property states that no matter what, you, what order you place these multiplication uh, problems in or the uh, factors of a multiplication problem, the uh, product comes out the same. So 2 times 1, 2 times 3. I'm done there. I'm done there. That's a 1. That's a 3. That's a 2, a 7, a 3. So let me pull that over here. 3, 7, 2. Let me add my remainder now. And hopefully it works out well. There's a 9. There's a 9. And there's a 3. So I have a check and then a mate. I have to get a check mate. Okay. That's it. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.